All right, so this tutorial might actually be short because uh, I'm really only showing you how to do a, one thing. Um, and it's hard to explain exactly what it does, um, but you might have a problem in some different maps where you have a model that when it crosses a certain threshold, it completely changes the lighting on how the model ta um, takes in the lighting from the map. Um, that's usually due to this certain part of this map having a box in which its lighting is assigned um, one one amount and not for the um, and then another area having a different amount as you can kind of see like here for these guardrails um, it gets really annoying for animations and for pictures when you this doesn't really make any sense with how the lighting is set here nice thing is is it's not well known but there is a way to get around this um, and it's something using the alone position of a model and what a loom position does is it is something on the model itself that is telling the uh, the map where this model is and what lighting it should be taking in. What you could do is disconnect it from this model and attach it to another. Uh, for instance, that's what this one is. Uh, she is completely black because I have taken this model right here and thrown it completely out of the map somewhere. Uh, so if I actually bring this back here, you'll see that now it's fine. And just like when I move her, uh, Chrysalis back in fourth here, uh, for it how it affects the lighting if I take this model right here it's doing the same thing because now it's attached to this model instead of to her um, so in this case I have literally thrown this one completely off the map there it's like way out there <laughs> but because it was in an area that allowed me to have uh, a black area to work with it was zero light this does not mean that it's going to completely detach the light from any ability to to light it so if i actually like look here i this is a light that's just shining down here it's affecting both models but it's only affecting this one uh oh that's the only lights that are affecting it so uh so i'll show you how to do this it's actually very simple um it's just not reversible but it's easy to just load up a model again if you need um so first thing you need to do is you need to load up another model in this case i usually like to use uh, the helper models though it doesn't really matter uh, you can use any any model really and helper models are used are used for um some access help but i just like because of their name so i'm just going to grab access helper thick here and where is it it's right here so we are going to just put it right here for now so what i want to do is i want to copy uh this one's illumination position and make it a reference on chrysalis here so we need to look right click our model go to show an element viewer and then model and you can see towards the bottom here you should have a, a illuma position dag that is technically the position that it is the lighting is um, looking for so we're just going to right click this and just go copy that's all we need to do from that now I'm going to go to this other model I have here. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go to the same thing, show an element viewer model. And I'm going to go to the illumination position DAG here. I'm going to right click it. It's going to have some information on here. I'm just going to right click the, the main title here and I'm going to delete it. It'll still keep it here, but now it's removed all the information underneath it. And now I'm just going to right click, go to paste special and paste as reference. That now is taking the lighting from this it's I've copied its illumination position and pasted it as a reference to the crystals model, meaning that it is basically pulling the same information from this model as to where it is. So now if I move this, you can see it's taking in its position. So if I throw this way out here in the middle of nowhere, oh, actually I think I had it there. Yeah. You can see again, I'm doing it. I made it completely black. Now, and this does let you light up a model any way you want. So in this case, uh, we will turn on some pre-made lights I have here. And this looks much better. Uh, and I can actually, uh, if I grab that and the, uh, the model here, it'll actually move with it. So now I'm crossing that threshold and not having that problem. So this is a nice little trick. It works well for pictures because it'll allow you to basically disable the lighting on a model from the map and do it completely yourself uh, or put it to another position that at least has better lighting for what you're looking for 
or it will let you get rid of this this issue of crossing a threshold that is causing some lighting issues on a model so um i hope that's helpful it's been super helpful for me i used it uh, in my last video and I've been using it a lot more lately for pictures because having full control is super useful um, so yeah uh, I hope to have a couple more tutorials out here soon um, and but I hope you found the useful um, be sure to check out uh, link in the description to see some other tutorials I have always right, thanks for watching uh.